And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create a countdown effect. Many ways to do it. You can, for example, just download one. But the problem with this method is that sometimes the colors don't really work with the blending mode. So let me scale this down and show you this. And by the way, I'm going to link to it so you can use that yourself if you want to use it. But if I now switch, for example, to overlay, we have the white background gone. It wasn't fully white, so it's going to create a little bit of a messed up effect with the footage and the numbers aren't clearly readable because of the color. So let me show you how you can create a countdown from scratch inbuilt in CapCut. We need a sticker for that. Just type in countdown and you will find a couple of options. Be careful though, some aren't animated, so you have to check them out. For example, this one isn't animated. I want to use an animation. But first, let me extract the audio here. It bothers me. But this one, for example, this is a countdown animation. It goes from 10 to 0. And for the most part, you're already fine with this. But let me show you what you can do if you don't use the numbers 10 to 0. If you want to, for example, have it starting at 20 or something. Or you want to have it starting at 5 and going to 0 or something like this. So if you want to have a number that's not in build here, go to the first second you can read that right here use the arrow keys to go frame by frame before you do anything else right click and create a compound clip that way we are going to work with the finished footage of this sticker and not the animation itself the sticker itself when you cut these stickers it might be that the animation gets adjusted but if we create a compound clip first we're going to get around that as I said, we are at one second. I press B for the split tool and I cut it. And then I go forward to two seconds, cut it again. And now we have only one second. Delete the excess parts. And now we have this one second animation of a countdown. Forget about the number. You're going to adjust it anyway. So it doesn't matter if you use one second to two or four second to five. It just has to be one second on this animation. Next step is we'll go to mask for this element and in this case use a circle, place it on top of the number and size it down so that only the number is visible. Then click on reverse right here and we've gotten rid of the number and we have our animation for one second. Now we can add a number manually by using a default text on top. Size it down so that it is as long as the animation which is one second and then type in if you want to have 20 seconds 20 for brevity i just make it five seconds because it's repetitive and i don't want to bore you in this tutorial doing it five times should be enough to understand the principle so we'll start with five we want to have the same color so click on the color swatch hover over the color of the animation left click and you've got it selected position it size it up so that it almost touches the animation and now go to position x should be fine with zero that's in center but for y we should go down a little bit further let me make that minus 240 that should be a good position and it looks like it's in center then you can scale it down again using font size And we've got our first second done. For everything else now, we'll just copy these two elements. So left click drag, then hold alt and drag a copy out of it. Position it so that they start right next to one another. And then just change the number to 19 if you've started with 20, in my case 4. And that's what you now do for every second. So again, left click drag, hold alt, drag a copy out of there, position it without having gaps, make it a 3 for the text element. And press Ctrl Z here, that was a little bit too far. And once more. Let me resize the footage a little bit so that we actually have five seconds. I'll play it. You 
And you can see we now have our Zyma created manually for 5 to 0. One more problem is the text on top. In this specific case of the sticker, they have added some text. I don't like that. You can get around it easily by repositioning the entire countdown. So select it all and drag the text outside of the frame. But let's say you want to keep it in center. How can you solve that issue? Just select the footage below, so the original clip, and then copy that. Ctrl C, paste it, Ctrl V, put it on top. To find a good position, decrease the opacity so that you can see the countdown. Then go to mask for this element, so the top copy of the footage, and use a mask. In this case, a rectangle is fine. It should cover the text, position it on the text, size it down so that it doesn't cover the animation, our countdown, and then increase the opacity again. The text is gone. We play it again, and here we have our final result. This is how you can manually create a countdown in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.